Hi, this will be a short demonstration of an SR latch. Um, we'll, we see a, a circuit built here on the right. Uh, we'll use this to demonstrate. Uh, over here we see the layout of an SR latch in logic gates. We have our inputs S prime and R prime. Our naming convention for inputs tells us that if we see a prime, then we assert with a zero and deassert with a one. Um, for our electronics, a zero will indicate low and a one will indicate high. Um, the way our circuit is laid out logically, we have two NAND gates. For the um, set, um, we have, or for S prime, we have it coming in along with the output of R prime and that produces our Q and then down below we have our R prime along with the output of S prime and that sets our Q prime. For our outputs um, the prime does not indicate one or zero it just means that um, the whatever Q value we have we expect to have the opposite value in Q prime. All right, so let's see how this is going to work. Um, here we see a fritzing diagram of the circuit over here. Um, in the middle we have this integrated chip, uh, the 74LS00. This is a quad uh, two input NAND gate chip. Um, we see it's powered here through the power rail through um, the source pin, VCC pin in and it's grounded here uh, through this pin um, to the ground rail. Looking at an internal um, uh, schematic of the chip, we see that the chip has four internal NAND gates, uh, each with two inputs, and I'm only, only using the two NAND gates that are on the farthest right of the chip. So over here, same thing. Uh, and we can see that one of our inputs to the upper NAND gate is wired to this 10K ohm resistor to the power rail. So we're normally inputting a high signal on this input. And then the second input is coming from the output of the lower NAND gate. And then its output is coming out and crossing over to an input of the lower NAND gate, as well as to a 1K ohm resistor to this yellow LED. So that will, yellow will represent our Q. And this input here will represent our S prime. Now notice, we also have in line with that input, this yellow or, or orange wire going to this switch and the switch is then wired to the ground rail. So momentarily pressing the switch will bring this input low because the power coming through this 10K ohm would then travel down this wire and to the ground and would not go into the input of the NAND gate. So that would bring this input low and then, of course, the other input would be based off the lower NAND gate. So the lower NAND gate for R prime is set up the same way. Uh, we have the input coming from the power rail through a 10K ohm resistor, along with the output of the upper NAND gate. And then we also have this blue wire here connecting it to this um, switch to ground. <coughs> and then so pressing the lower switch here, which would be the back switch here uh, on the actual circuit, would then bring that input low. All right, and then of course the output here is crossing over to the upper NAND gate and going through this 1K ohm resistor to this red LED, which is then going to ground. All right, so let's see this in action. All right, so I have the circuit running. Um, I have it in a set state. Uh, our SR latch is set because Q is set. So I'm using blue to represent a high or a one, and I'm using the uh, red to represent a low or a zero. So 
So we see without either button being pressed, we have high voltage or ones coming through the um, 10k ohm resistors into each of the inputs. So each input right now is deasserted or a one. And so the way it gets to the state that it's in right now, uh, when it first starts up, is based off an internal delay built into these NAND gates. And each IC, or integrated chip, of this series might have their delays different. So it just so happens this one is coming up in this state, where with both of these set, um, we have it rested into this state where uh, we have a 1 and a 1 coming into the lower NAND gate, or a high and a high. And so the NAND gate outputs a 0, or a low. So our Q prime, our red LED, is off for 0. And then that 0 comes up and is going into the input with the high from the S prime. The S prime is deasserted as well. But we're getting a 0 and a 1, and a 0 and a 1 produces a 1. And so we have a high coming out into our Q. So we would say the SR latch is set, and that high, of course, comes back down to be the input here. All right now, this is in what we call a bi stable state. Um, if we look at the truth table for our SR latch, both S prime and R prime are deasserted, so they're both ones. And our Q is set, so we're in this lower state here. Our Q next is a, a high, that's this line coming down to the input of the second NAND gate. And our Q next is this line here, is a zero. And we see that our Q is not set. Our Q prime is not set. Right, or we're not in a reset state, we're in a set state. Right, now it's bi-stable in that I can now assert S prime by bringing it low, but nothing will change in the state here, and I can test that here by pressing this switch, bringing that low, and notice nothing changes. And the reason why is because a zero and a zero still produce a, a one. So the state up here, a 1 and a 0, a 1 and a 0 produce a 1, and a 0 and a 0 produce a 1. So it's in a set state, and it's stable. Oh, I didn't mean to roll that back. Um, so if we want to reset, go to a reset state, we would press the reset button and we see it switch. Now, to walk through what happened there, we start our reset in the other state. So we were in this state, we have a high coming in to both NAND gates, and we're in a set state, and we're stable. When we press the reset button to deassert reset, we deassert reset, and notice nothing else changed. The um, this this will walk us through step by step. We deassert, and now we have a one and a zero coming into this NAND gate, and a one and a zero, a one on B and a zero on A means that our output should become a one, and so our NAND gate starts to output a high. That high then sets the reset or the Q prime and transmits a high or a one to the upper NAND gate. Now on the upper NAND gate we have a one and a one, and a one and a one should make it output a zero. So that NAND gate starts to output a zero, and we see it set Q off or a zero, and start to transmit a zero down to the lower NAND gate in which we now end up in a stable state again. So I press the reset and we now switch to a stable state. 
So once again, up here we have a 1 and a 1 going into a an NAND, and that outputs a 0. And here we have a 0 and a 0 going into a an NAND, and that outputs a 1. Right? And so we're in this stable reset state, and we can show that because now if I was to deassert R prime by pressing the button, nothing would change in the state. So if I press the button again, it's now stable in that state. So now if I press the set button, I set the, the latch, and now it is stable in the set state. If I press the reset, I put it into a reset state, and it's now stable in that reset state. So that shows our SR latch, or our set reset latch.